This is a 3D model of a wicker basket using Fusion 360. I have already shown the modeling of a construction that represented a wicker trivet. The technique used then to trace the path of a spiral wicker strand was only applicable to a flat model, which was limiting from a creative point of view. I wanted to propose a more complex model like this wicker basket. The bottom is flat, the wall is cylindrical, and the transition between the two is an arc of a circle. I also wanted the spiral wicker strand to be made of only one path from the bottom to the edge of the basket. Today this challenge is taken up and this talk shows the result. I go back a few steps to show the volume setting. I choose the one and only spiral path to volume a first strand of wicker. The parameter DS is the diameter of the spiral strand. This first solid body is duplicated by circular repetition. Parameter Z is the number of spiral strands in the basket. I almost always use parameters in my models. Indeed, I find it more meaningful to introduce named parameters rather than numerical values wherever possible. I have just shown you the use of DS and Z parameters. I now model a radial strand using the pipe feature. The parameter DR is the diameter. This strand is duplicated in turn by circular repetition of the number also indicated by the parameter Z. This is the most fun part of modeling. The basket is almost finished and it was very fast. As with the wicker trivet from the previous talk, all I have to do is fill in the space in the center of the bottom of the basket. I connect the radial strands by small modeled strands using successively the features pipe, mirror, as well as copies, translations, and rotations using the function move copy. The final connections to the radial strands are made using the loft feature using the tangency option G1. Wicker basket modeling is complete. Here it is as unveiled at the beginning of this talk. In total, the basket is made of 30 wicker strands, 20 of which are perfectly intertwined in a spiral shape. For Fusion 360, these 20 strands are 20 identical solid bodies as shown earlier. The first body was modeled from a single curve which was the path for the pipe feature. I showed you briefly at the beginning of the talk the sketches that allowed me to build this curve, from the second 12 to the second 35. It is a spline built using more than 240 points. I had some difficulty connecting these 240 points. I had to keep my attention for more than half an hour. It was even more difficult as I progressed because Fusion 360 was responding in an increasingly jerky manner. At the end of the process, the software would freeze for 3 to 4 seconds at each point which made the operation even more delicate. And then came the moment to finalize the spline. Fusion 360 remained frozen for more than half an hour. It is with relief that I now show you the result. But before drawing the spline I had to place all these points. I didn't need a calculator or a list of values in advance. I placed these points geometrically and iteratively. Using parameters instead of numerical values is a great help. I won't hide the fact that it took me several hours to plot these points on all the sketches. It's not very difficult but you have to be meticulous. 
I show you in this end of talk how I placed the dots of the cylindrical part of the basket. Thank you, see you soon.